and welcome. This is the news headline on 7 TV. My name is Patience Okai. President Muhammad Buhari has assured Nigerians that the military was close to defeating terrorists masquerading under the name of Islam. The president who disclosed this in his Salah message to Nigerians as the holy month of Ramadan reaches its end described the war against insurgents and their allies as long and hard. Today, Nigerians, especially Muslim Ummah, join the rest of the world in the celebration of Eid al-Fitri, signaling the end of the holy month of Ramadan. The FCT Minister Muhammad Musabello, in his message, congratulated all Muslim faithful and urged them not to limit the acts of charity, love and tolerance to only the holy month, but should inculcate the culture into their everyday lives. The Inspector General of Police, Usman Akali Baba has said security has been beefed up nationwide to anticipate the breakdown of law and order as Muslim faithful mark in the future. The IGP said he has ordered the deployment of police officers, especially intelligence operatives, traffic officers, and other operational assets of the force for adequate security during and after the celebration. The Sultan of Sokoto and President General of the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islam Affairs, Muhammad Sadat Abubakar, has called on Nigerians to love one another and elect quality leaders in the 2023 general elections. The Sultan, in his Salah message, urged Muslims to pray for peace and the country's stability. He also appealed to the government to stem the tide of inflation while urging traders to desist from random price increase. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajambi Amila, has congratulated Nigerian workers as they mark this year's International Workers' Day. In a statement by his special advisor on media and publicity, Lanre Lassisi, Bajambi Amila said he was glad that Nigerian workers have lived up to expectations over the years stating that governments at all levels, as well as the private sector, are trying to make life better for them. As Nigeria joins the rest of the world to mark Workers' Day on Sunday, the Kaduna State Chairman of the Nigeria Labor Congress, Ayuba Suleiman, has said the productivity and safety of workers in the state have been largely affected by banditry and terrorism in different parts of the state. According to Suleiman, rural communities like Giwa, Biningwari, Kara, Zango Kataf, Karu, and Igabi local government areas of the state have become the hotbed for kidnapping and with some of the victims killed in the process, while others pay ransom to secure their release. The minister of the FCT, Muhammad Musa Bello, has congratulated all workers in the FCT on the celebration of the 2022 Workers' Day. In his message to commemorate May Day, the minister commended the leadership and members of the Nigerian Labor Congress, the Trade Union Congress, and all other employees across the Federal Capital Territory for their efforts towards national development. According to him, the collective efforts of all the workers have over the years ensured that the city of Abuja is one of the most beautiful capital cities in Africa and the pride of every Nigerian. On the international scene, Reports say dozens of civilians have been evacuated from Moripol, Ukraine-controlled territory after weeks under siege. Some have left the Azov-style steelworks, the last holdout of Ukrainian troops in the strategically significant city. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said a large group is also on its way to Zaporizhia, which Ukraine maintains control of. In sports, Arsenal maintained their two-point lead over Tottenham in the battle to qualify for next season's Champions League. They were 2-1 winners at West Ham to move back above sports, who earlier beat Leicester 3-1. Arsenal's centre-back got the job done to keep the Gunners on course to end the five-year absence from the Champions League. That is the news headline and thanks for watching. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and share our programs. You can also follow us on our social media handles, Instagram at 7TV underscore NIG, Twitter at 7TV underscore NIG, Facebook at 7TV Nigeria.